The number one reason people didn't garden last year was a lack of space. Also, gardening is hard and time consuming, especially organic gardening. But our microfarm fixes these problems. The microfarm leverages the power of aquaponics, a symbiotic relationship between plants and fish to easily grow fresh, organic vegetables all year. It works like this. The fish are fed and produce waste. Normally this would mean a nasty aquarium water change about every two weeks. But in this system, the water is pumped up into the media bed. Here, it is broken down by bacteria into the basic nutrients for plant growth. The plants use these nutrients to thrive, growing closer together and faster than traditionally grown vegetables, while using only a tenth of the water. Nearly all garden plants grow in the system, so it is perfect for culinary experimentation with unusual herbs, or simply growing fresh and crisp greens in deep winter. Growing is as easy as setting up the aquarium and feeding the fish, then planting seeds and harvesting vegetables. Hi, my name is Trevor Kinkel, and I'm the founder of Springworks Farm, creators of the micro farm and operators of one of the largest commercial aquaponic greenhouses in the United States. I started growing with aquaponics seven years ago because of an interest in sustainable agriculture, and I've learned a lot since then. I strive to improve the processes as I build larger and larger systems. We now grow almost a quarter million heads of lettuce per year, using 90% less water in a tenth of the space compared to a traditional farm. This experience was also used to make the micro farm very easy to set up and run. Now you can have a highly productive, low maintenance, organic garden while watching the beauty of nature unfold in the comfort of your home, business, or school every day. From the beginning, our goal as a company has been to educate people about sustainable agriculture, and aquaponics in particular. Naturally, we started working with schools soon after the development of the micro farm. In fact, we were working on the nation's first aquaponics curriculum for high school AP Biology to help keep students engaged with hands-on science. In order to expose more students to this technology, we partnered with Cultivating Action, a Vermont-based educational nonprofit, to make these systems even more affordable for schools. Half of the profits from this campaign will be donated to Cultivating Action to place microfarms in schools all around the country. Hi, my name is Emily Donaldson and I'm the Executive Director of Cultivating Action, a nonprofit working to build community around environmental solutions. Our current goal has been on expanding environmental education, which is why we've been placing microfarms in classrooms as a tool to inspire curiosity. Microfarms bring so many scientific concepts to life in a hands-on and engaging way, as it's a living example of symbiotic relationships, photosynthesis, life cycles, ecosystem science, and more, all while teaching basic STEM skills. They're actually coming in collecting the data, and then with that data we can start comparing to the other three systems we have in this classroom. So they have this sense of empowerment as scientists, so they, they come into my classroom day to day as scientists. We want every student to have the opportunity to work with this type of technology, which is why we've been placing them in institutions ranging from Dartmouth College to rural elementary school, because it's through cultivating a love of learning today that we will better face the environmental problems of tomorrow. We started shipping out microfarms six months ago, after years of testing, and the response from our customers has been great. They love the constant access to fresh greens and watching their ecosystem flourish. And your contribution, whether it's by buying a microfarm or a t-shirt or just sharing on social media, will allow more schools in need teach their students how food grows and the importance of sustainability in food systems. Thank Thanks you for, for watching. watching.